Hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, everyone watching and perhaps even listening to this content. This is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report, and I'm your host, Report of the Week. And we're back here in the Energy Drink Chamber. Well, I guess it's just the, the reviewing chamber, because I do, I do, I do, yes I do, more more reviews and just energy drink reviews here. And it can't be considered the energy drink nook because we already have a pizza eating nook over there and, and just one nook is enough. It really is. So we're breaking out the uh, wing collar for the first time in a, a long time for this review. Anything anything special about this review, bro? No, no, I'm just... I woke up today and I was kind of feeling like wearing a, a three-piece suit and a, you know, an early 1900s wing collar and, and tie look. So I did that, and I wore that today. Today's review, ladies and gentlemen, is for Shockwave Energy. Yes, that's indeed Shockwave Energy. There it is. Giving me shockwaves already. <laughs> that was so funny, review, bro. Um, it says CoQ10, antioxidant, and B vitamins. Almost look like G vitamins, and I've never heard of a vitamin G. B vitamins and taurine, an energy supplement. Supplement fact, serving size is one can. That's that's the whole thing. You're just expected to down it all. 16 fluid ounces. 260 calories. They're not holding back on the sugar here, ladies and gentlemen. 66 grams of sugar for this. You have your vitamin C, B6, B12, and pantothenic acid, and sodium, 190 milligrams. The proprietary blend consists of... 1,216 milligrams. You have taurine, caffeine, inositol, and uh, coenzyme Q10. And for the amount, it just has a little cross. And hopefully, I'll say say what the amount is somewhere else. I guess it just I guess it's top secret information for the the shockwave company, so they don't copy it and steal their blend. Other ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, sodium citrate, natural artificial flavor, potassium sorbate, ascorbic acid, gum, arabic, etc. This product has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, meaning I may very well die from this because I haven't had their royal tasters and drink this and, and confirm that it won't kill you yet, so has not been evaluated by it, so uh, we're just going in blind here, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, wish us luck when we drink this. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. Not recommended for children, pregnant women, or those sensitive to caffeine. Oh, shoot. I was hoping this would cure that cold I had a few weeks ago. Shockwave. Everyone was, everyone was telling me this, too. They are saying, you know, just take this shockwave. It'll get rid of anything. Awful. Do they have anything to say about this drink? Shockwave. Go on. Ride the wave. And that's all it says about it. Ride the wave. Produced under the authority of Monarch Custom Beverages, Canton, from Georgia. I think that's what GA stands for, at least. Maybe, there's just, maybe they just put those two letters there to mess with us, but I think that's what they mean by it. Let's see what else we got going. Yep, yep, yep. Shortwave energy. Energy supplement. You can see the the design here, a little bit of blue and black, and you can see the, the lines, the, the shock wave that the name is giving. And uh, just 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 a massive shock wave, you know. So anyway, let's open this this sucker up. No idea what to expect, what Shockwave is going to taste like, what it's going to look like, or uh, if it will be so good, it will the, the caffeine and the, the energy blend, and it'll just send Shockwaves through me with all the energy that's coming into me. But, you know, let's pour it out. Could use a little bit more. There we go. Kind of brimmed it, but that's that's the way to go. That's how it's done. 
You know, I think it is an interesting contrast, ladies and gentlemen. I do. I look at the can, and it's this dark, you know, bluish black. And then you have this this yellow, really. It is a yellow. It's not even an orange yellow. It's just a yellow colored drink. Um, I think it's just a very interesting contrast between this color of the can and, you know, the um, just the yellow color of, of the drink. It smells very citrusy. It does. Um, it smells very citrusy. Um, can't see through it at all, obviously. Can't. Looks carbonated, and uh, again, smells smells uh, citrusy. So, that being said, we're just gonna drink up, and uh, we'll let you know how it tastes. And and you know, if I if I literally fall off my chair because of this, so just know it's all the shock waves from this, and. Maybe I am riding the wave like the drink told me to. So, uh, anyways, gonna drink up. I'm going in, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Shockwave energy drink going in. Does have a distinct flavor. It does. One more drink. Sip. Okay. What does it taste like exactly? What is there to it? What's about it? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, first of all, we always start. When it hits the tongue, what do we first taste? This is a, a definitely a more carbonated beverage. So, when it really does first hit the tongue, it's one of those drinks that doesn't just kind of settle out and you're able to taste everything right away. It's one of those drinks, rather, where we'll take the sip, and it'll have like this, it'll it'll fizzle for a while. You hear the, not here, I mean, maybe if it's if it's like, if you're down the whole thing, you'll maybe be able to hear it, but probably not a good thing if you can. Um, you'll be able to, to taste and feel the little pops of all the uh, the carbonation and the, the effervescence, which this drink does contain plenty of. And uh, you'll be able to taste that first. I mean, there's a significant amount of that in this drink, almost... And that doesn't really sting, but it's it's going to really block out any flavor for a short period of time. Secondly, my friends, what we're going to be able to taste is a citrusy flavor. And in particular, I say orange. Um, and so I know sometimes I'll say citrus just because it involves more than one flavor. But this one, I think I can really just pinpoint and say this is more on the, the you know, this is more like orange. Um... It really blatantly does taste like orange. It really does. A little orange. I'm gonna just switch between the two pronunciations. Yeah. This really does taste like or orange, though. Um, it really does. You know, I mean, I know I say citrus, but I know I could just say this tastes like orange. So. It really does have an orangey taste, and um, another thing that you really notice about this drink is it has a certain sweetness to it. And I know for a fact, yeah, I know for a fact it's because of all 66 grams of sugar in this, which is quite a lot. Um, 66 grams of sugar is, is, is quite a bit, ladies and gentlemen. So, the drink, I mean, it's very simple. It, it is a very simple drink. It really is. It just has three main components that you should really be aware of. Number one, it is heavily carbonated, so when you first take a sip, you're just going to notice that, that carbonation for at least a second or two. Secondly, you're going to notice an orange flavor, okay? No, nothing else about it. No strings attached, nothing. Just, just straight orange, okay? That's what you're going to notice, just orange. And... After that, you're just going to notice a little bit of sweetness to it, okay? A good comparison you could think of this is, imagine orange juice. Someone takes a ton of sugar, dumps it in, and there's caffeine in it too. 
And that's what it tastes like. It tastes like orange juice, but just a little bit sweeter. And that's 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 shockwave for you. Not really giving me shockwaves like it, it claimed, but uh, it's a pleasant drink. It's it's pleasant to drink. It really is. Not FDA evaluated though, so if I drop dead from this, you know, it's kind of like saying, "Hey, you're at your own mercy." But uh, otherwise, though, not bad. Not bad. Simple, but, but tastes good. A nice, nice, pleasant orange orange flavor. So, what is this drink priced exactly? Well, believe it or not, I know you, you expect... All right, let's take a guess, everybody. A $1.99, right? Nope. When I was in Virginia um, a while ago, I picked this up at a Big Lots. And Big Lots is known for their notorious deals. And this drink was attained for just $1.00. That's right, just a dollar for this. And uh, I'm impressed by the price, I really am. Uh, just a dollar for it, good value, tastes good, and uh, no complaints. No complaints at all. Not sure on the caffeine content though, but that's, you know, just, that just involves not really what it tastes like at all, but has, I mean, a good energy blend, you know, 12, 16 milligrams, that's not bad. So, you know, we'll just try that, but, but otherwise that's all we got. So, out of 10, what are you going to rate this? Well, good value, good taste, um, definitely above average. So, I'm going to be giving this an 8.49 out of 10, just below the 8.5. Um, but for what it's worth, for what it is, great taste and good value to it. Hopefully, good effectiveness as well. So, that's all we got for you, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I reviewed Shockwave Energy Drink. That's all there is to it. Oh, no, Shockwave Energy. I'm, I'm so sorry there. Shockwave Energy and... Uh, as as the can tells me right now, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go on, and and I'm gonna ride the wave. So so I'll be doing that for a while now, and uh, that's all we got for you. Thank you so much for watching. This is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. I'm your host, Report of the Week, and we'll see you later. Take care. Go on. Ride the wave.